Hey guys, this is the Ultimate Warrior here, and I wanted to make a video on how I got into My Hero Academia. So yes, yeah, so if um, you're not aware, My Hero Academia, this is an anime that is pretty much at the top of its game right now. It's probably one of the most popular animes uh, at this particular time. So, and and I happen to get into it, which is kind of strange because I am a person, I really, I, I really don't do anime. I'm more of a video game person, and I've even made a video stating why I prefer video games to anime, if you want to check that on, out on my channel. But somehow, My Hero Academia has captured my attention and apparently my heart so how did the gamer get into my ha my hero academia and funny thing is uh it was my love of video games and you know what my love of statues so buckle up this i i'm not sure how long this video is going to be but buckle up to understand my love of uh, My Hero Academia, you have to understand my love of statues. I have some statues right now, and I plan on owning some more in the future, although not as many because I'm running out of space and money for the hobby. But um, I'm, a, I'm currently a part of a club on Facebook, and it is called the First Four Figures of Official Collectors Club. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a private group, but anyone can join, you know. You can uh, go there and join the group, and an admin will let you in. But I'm part of this group, and they have what they, what is called as uh, Temptation Thursdays. And on Temptation Thursdays, they have polls to uh, gather the interest for a certain license, uh, I can't talk today, so I'm sorry. But they have a poll known as Temptation Thursdays. And they will showcase a certain anime or video game. Usually video games. But um, this is a collect a statue club for uh, that's based off of like anime and video games. Just to kind of throw that out there. But um, they have that Temptation Thursdays poll. And they showcase different anime uh, characters or video game series to see um, who would, uh, how many people in the club would want a statue of XYZ. My nose is itching. But, um, so yeah, if it gathers enough yes votes, then the uh, founders of, or the founder of First Four Figures. We'll look into it and see if they can obtain that license. And this has been successful before. There was a Spyro uh, poll done to see if people would want a Spyro statue. And so many people said yes and they, they made it happen. And these polls are starting to gain popularity. Now, I wasn't voting in the My Hero Academia poll because that poll came up eventually. My my main thing was Persona 5, and you if you've seen my earlier videos, you have seen me ra try to rally the fans and rally everyone to vote for Persona 5. And if you happen to see a uh, video by Big Man Tyrone promoting the uh, First Four Figures Official Collectors Club, yeah, I just know that I had a part in doing that because that's how much I wanted a statue and it was not cheap. So, yeah. I was Persona 5 and me and like three other guys, we were working hard to bring people into the club, get them to vote, and uh, we don't have the license yet. They're looking into it. They have talked They have talked to Atlas, so something could come from it in the future. These polls aren't guaranteed. It's just to kind of gauge interest. So yeah, um, we pretty much worked our butts off, and we've got the um, the number of votes they were looking for, which was around 550 at the time. So around that time, um, maybe a little bit afterwards, 
can't quite remember. Uh, there was a My Hero Academia poll, which was doing astronomically good. And it uh, went on to be one of the, the best TT or Temptation Thursdays polls that First Four Figures had. And it caught enough steam where it gathered my attention. It's like, wow, what what is this anime that keeps on bringing in people? And so if a, if a first poll does really good, usually they'll start off with one character. So in this case, the character was, would you want a statue of All Might, who's the character in uh, uh, My Hero Academia? So that did good. So the founder of First War Figures, he went to make another poll to see how many characters uh, people would want. And he wanted to have at least 800 or 850 plus. Uh, he wanted to see three characters get over 800 votes for yes, I do want a statue. So, right now, I think All Might and Midoriya, they have over a thousand votes. With uh, Bakugo not too far behind. But at the time, it was still going, uh, growing rapid and steadily. And it didn't take too long for that poll to become one of the highest ranking of all time. So... There was one guy there, and hopefully he doesn't uh, mind me saying who he is. He has a YouTube channel named Mighty Gazelle, if you want to check him out. Uh, be my guest, he's a real cool dude, and he was, he was kind of, he's kind of like the front runner for this My, ha my Hero Academia poll. So, he was always, no one can doubt, he's probably the, the person who helped the rally as many fans as he can. As he could. He constantly talked about it and at, not advertising on his channel, but he encouraged people to go and vote for it. He brought a lot of people to the club for that, and um, it was pretty cool. He's a really cool guy. And then I kind of, I, it got to a point where, okay, this, he, he has such a passion for this anime. And not only him, but just all the people in the club who just keep constantly voting and voting. It's like this this TT is rivaling like my Persona 5 TT that me and the other guys are working so hard for. And it's just kind of like, yeah, the higher the poll is, the more they'll look at that poll. So if it's not high on the list, you know, that poll really doesn't get looked at as much. So I was just like, what, what is this mysterious anime? And, you know, there wasn't any bitterness towards them. Like, oh, they're getting higher than me. How higher than our pole? How dare they? But it was just like, you know what? Uh, my thing was, a lot, of, a lot of people, these hundreds and thousands of people, they can't be wrong. Not all of them can be wrong. Let me try out at least uh, one episode of the anime. So, um, uh, Mighty Gazelle helped me with that. And I looked... Uh, watched it, and I was like, you know what, this isn't too bad. You know, um, the first episode was really good. I kind of didn't want to continue because I thought it would bring on too many feels. And, um, yeah, that was my personal reason for not wanting to continue past the first episode at the time. So he, I, I told him about it, and he was just like, <laughs> well... He doesn't know why I don't want to continue, but it's like, it, this looks very, really good, really emotional. I just don't want to have a part of it. So, I was pretty resistant at first. And I was just like, uh, like okay, again, I don't watch anime, but the fact that this poll has uh, gotten me to a point where I want to take time out of my somewhat busy life, time I'll never get back on this planet to watch one episode to me that was an accomplishment and an, and an amazing one because like I said I'm more of a gamer than an anime watcher but then you know as I see the poll is getting bigger and bigger it's on my mind to watch and it's like I want to watch it but it's like part of me is like I don't want to get into it I don't want to get hooked and so anime expo it rolls around and keep in mind I the dude knows this and he was pretty chill. He's not like, oh, you're a horrible person for not watching. He's like, okay. He wasn't pushy about it or anything. But I did have like a friendly respect towards the rival TT. 
because that was my rival and I would even go there and bump the post so more people can see it even if I didn't watch the show itself so um at anime expo they had a uh the screening of the movie I didn't go to of uh the my hero academia movie the world premiere and it's like okay um that'd be cool is a lot of people are hyped about it I uh let me try it but before then I realized the game was coming out and this is like okay if I could try the game maybe I'll be interested in voting for this but deep down it was just like uh, the game's called my heroes one justice I got it pre-ordered because I want the exclusive poster but um but I figured you know getting a game is cool and all but I feel like I really need to watch the anime to understand the characters so I figured I would go ahead and delve into the anime but I told myself if it got to a point where it just got boring I'm not going to try to force myself to watch it so I was watching it and I just started to connect with the characters especially uh Midoriya and you know my my slight fondness for the anime I'm sorry I was trying to look for some water because it's like running my voice ragged has already made a video like right beforehand but it's like I started to connect with the characters um Midoriya his story is uh, I can relate to his story a lot that's probably another video for another day but the characters were really relatable and it got to a point where, where it's like wow this anime is really good so after a while I was convinced I went back to that poll and I was like yeah, this is an awesome anime. I would love to see a statue of All Might and various characters. So I voted, and you know, um, I got to a point where it was, wow, I was like, this anime is kind of like life-changing. It spoke to me, and um, definitely a lot of lessons you can learn in this. So I binge-watched the crap out of it, and I actually... Uh, I regret not going to see the movie, which that's probably going to be in another video. My biggest regret at Anime Expo. Spoiler alert, not going to see that movie. But, um, yeah, now it's just like I'm collecting the merchandise. I done pre-ordered the game. Like, I'm getting fan this fan art stuff, and now I'm looking at getting a customized My Hero Academia bunny hat. Not bunny hat, but like a fox hat that I, that I used to wear in my other videos. So yeah, and um, I totally told um, Mighty Gazelle about it. And he was happy I got into it because, you know, he, he tries his best to encourage people to at least check it out. It's not for everyone, but it's for most people, I think. And, you know, I, I enjoyed it. And now I'm caught up. Well, I'm not caught up because the new episodes just came out this Friday for the dub. Not the dub. Well, yeah, the dub, but mostly the sub. The sub is like two episodes ahead. But I'm trying to watch them both around the same time since they're coming out. That way I can see which one I like better. So I just need to catch up on the latest episode. But other than that, I'm pretty much caught up. The, uh, the only binge watching for My Hero Academia will probably be the other two. Over or movies that I haven't seen, but hopefully I can knock out those two in the next two weeks. Like maybe I'll make it a weekend thing. But um, yeah, that's my story of uh, how I got into My Hero Academia. Now I can I can make a video on like why I love My Hero Academia or why X Y Z character is awesome. But I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. So yeah, um. Big props to Mighty Gazelle. Like I said, check him out on YouTube. He he does, I guess, the, what you call it. Not a Let's Play, but he watches, like, the dub version of it. But reaction video. So he does a reaction video on it. So it's pretty cool. And I doubt he'll ever see this. But if you do, buddy, uh, thank you for getting me into My Hero Academia. Because it's definitely an anime I enjoy. And that's, that's uh, saying something for someone who doesn't really like to watch anime. It's addictive. You know, some people might say that I'm on a hype train, but it's just like, well, you know what? 
if this is a hype train, which it is, I am more than happy to be on it. So, yeah, and I even plan on doing cosplays next year based on characters, or at least a character my, uh, from My Hero Academia, which is um, Midoriya. I want to do a, a Midoriya cosplay. A couple of his cosplays, his uh, My Hero Academia uniform and his battle suit, or jumpsuit, or whatever it is, however you want to call it. So, yeah, um... If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. Like I said, it's uh, it, people call it the next Naruto, which I don't, I haven't really watched Naruto, so I couldn't tell you. But our, apparently, it's really popular, so I wouldn't be surprised. And you know, I'm ready for this uh, My Hero Academia journey. I'm I'm buckled up, and you know, I'm I'm ready to go. And Kachan is ready to go. My little Kachan I got from Anime Expo 2018. So yeah. I'm definitely a fan. But um I think that's about it for now. So yeah, if you happen to like this video, feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if you happen to like what you see, then please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do, and I will see you all in the next video. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.